All right, guys, how's it going? Hey, you know, within minutes of my last video going live, the morning brief, I had one thumbs down. Can you believe that? That'd be the X, won't it? How are you doing? You all right? So there is uh, some claims today regarding Kefren Thuram, and a couple of you uh, left comments, you know, overnight. Uh, I saw them this morning when I woke up saying, have you seen this, Don't What do you think? So basically, the Liverpool Echo and others uh, are reporting this. Liverpool enter negotiations for midfielder. Um... Kefren Thuram, he plays for Nice. Uh, he's got one year remaining on his contract, heavily linked with Liverpool previously. But the thing is, with there being a change in manager, we don't know if it was Jurgen Klopp that favoured this player previously or the recruitment team. Uh, so obviously, if it was a Jurgen Klopp you know, preference, well, he's gone now, so maybe they'd be like, well, we're not interested. Well, they could still be interested. But for example, Darwin Nunes, we know, was a Jurgen Klopp you know, uh, favoured player and the rest of them didn't want them. So if we were in that period now, we hadn't signed Darwin Nunes, we were being linked with him still, guaranteed Liverpool would be like, no, nah, we're not going for him because they didn't want him, right? It was Jürgen uh, who, who, who pulled rank on that, right, if you want. So we have no idea at the moment what's going to happen with this, this new structure, the new head coach or anything. So, uh, and it's going to take us time to work this out. All right, it's like being reset. So, you, you know, this is why these ITK accounts on Twitter are just a joke because nobody fucking, nobody has a clue more so than ever than right now, okay? But we will, in time, uh, start to work things out because a lot of it is down to common sense and knowledge and who knows who and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, so this player was previously linked with us and I think that uh, about two months ago, I said, I think you should listen out for this kid. Um... So I'm, I'm not surprised that this uh, speculation uh, is uh, currently uh, doing the rounds. Liverpool have entered negotiations with League One side Nice over a potential transfer for midfielder Kevin Thuram, according to Tuto Juve, Juve. Now, the thing is, so here we have an English football club, Liverpool, linked with this player, but nothing from the English media or the Liverpool area media at the moment, the local media. We then have a French player who plays for a French club uh, and there are no reports in France making this. It's actually these original, uh, these claims today or, or yesterday, uh, yeah, yesterday, late last night, I think, I can't remember, early yesterday, uh, they, they're coming from Italy, right? So some people often go, well, how would they know? It's ridiculous. It's going to be France media or uh, French media or English media. No. Because if Juventus are interested in signing him, they might have been given, you know, information from the agent, for example, to say, now he favours a move to Liverpool or England or whatever. So you don't just dismiss a third country, if that makes sense. You've just got to see what the crack is. And often you find that those third countries do come out with stuff, you know, like because they're told, no, he, he doesn't want to move to Italy. Do you know what I mean? So... And that's it. Then it can the, the cat's out of the bag, so to speak. Someone, is that the saying? Yeah, something like that. Uh, anyway, so, but, 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 there's a big book here with this one. And this is where you've got to be suspicious with, um, with news articles, right? So, the Echo and others are saying that the reports are coming from Tutu, Tutu Juve. Tutu Juve, right? So, they're... That's the disclaimer. It's like, well, we're not saying it. They're saying it. So you then go to Tuto Juve, and they're actually not saying it as well. Because what they're saying is, in their article, is reports, reportedly, actually, I think was the translation, not reports, reportedly, either or, it doesn't make any difference. It's the same thing. So in their article, this one, they're saying, reportedly, uh, Liverpool have opened talks. But they're not stating where those reports are coming from. And that's usually a big red flag, right? Because uh, that's usually not always the case, but it can be a sign that a journalist or media outlet is just trying to put something out there, making things up, uh, and they expect the reader to believe them. Like, you know, reports or reportedly, you go, oh, right, okay, but why are they not telling you where those reports are coming from? So the Echo are telling you there's reports and they're coming from there. But the source article uh, is not, you know, giving you anything. So who's saying it? So I could come on here and make a video and say reports today say this. 
maybe there are no reports. You know, if, there, if these reports exist, then so be it. Uh, I don't believe they do. If I'm wrong, let me know. Um, but uh, I've mooched around in uh, the Italian media, I've looked in France uh, and obviously the UK, and I don't see anything uh, along those lines. I suspect if there is something that we're, we're not seeing at the moment, um, because it doesn't mean that they're lying, they just haven't named where these reports have come from. Uh, and it's just me trying to give you a little heads up about that on any transfer claims in the future from anywhere, uh, when people say reports, but don't tell you where they're coming from. Uh, I would suspect that there'll be some outlet in France that's maybe making these claims and possibly a local one to Nice. And that's what we need to nail down and try and find. So um, do we believe the reports that Liverpool have opened negotiations? Possibly. I wouldn't dismiss it, to be honest with you, uh, even though we were not able to follow the trail, if you like. Um, definitely a player uh, that's been under consideration. And um, we were linked with him. I remember making content about him, excuse me, after the last transfer, uh, not the last one, the, uh, the summer one. So despite the intensity in the multiple reports, the link didn't stop. It didn't go away. Uh, and I'm not sure if I've told you this, but I think he's got a year left on his contract. Um, and this is definitely one to watch, even if it's just to watch to see what happens with his career. Do you know what I mean? Like if he goes somewhere else and we know we can put it to bed. So if you see any reports regarding Kefren Thuram, I strongly advise that you monitor them. Uh, I will be doing uh, what I have been doing for a long time. So uh, for those reasons, you know, to see what happens with him. Um, but when I say monitor reports, I mean credible reports, guys, not some twat on uh, on on X or something like that, right? Because you're going to be you're going to see this all day today. I think this one. So anyway, I just want to leave that one with you. Uh, I've got many more videos. I want to do ten videos today because I didn't do a morning briefing yesterday because I was a bit busy. So I'm I'm going to do ten videos today, and I don't know if they're going to be shite, good, whatever. I don't even know what we're going to be talking about. We might struggle, but we'll um, we'll do that. All right. So Kefren Thuram, keep an eye on him, guys. Uh, Definitely. I certainly wouldn't put this down as idle speculation. There is, you know, a bit of like, well, hang on a minute, who's making these claims? Um, but for the time being, it's certainly one that I think you should uh, keep an eye on. All right. So uh, if you appreciate the video, please give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment. If you want to buy me a coffee or a beer, hit the super thanks button. That's the love out on the video. I'll give you a shout out in tomorrow's uh, morning briefing. Uh, video description, uh, newsletter, Facebook group, chat room. All the social medias, connect with me on there uh, and uh, we'll speak again soon, guys. Let me know what you think about this player um, and would you like to see him brought to Liverpool?